My name is John, I'm 23 years old and I come from Malta. Uh, I'm here in Warsaw to complete my last year of master's studies at Wazarski University. What I like about Poland is that, uh, first of all, it might seem a bit strange, but I like the winter. I had never lived in a real winter. Uh, winters in Malta are usually 8 to 10 degrees. Uh, that's the coldest it gets. Here I could actually see snow. I could actually uh, su survive in temperatures which were minus 20, where I was told that I couldn't survive. I like uh, also that the fact that uh, Life is not uh, too expensive here. I mean, it's reasonable uh, that for me as a student, I can, uh, I can, I can live. I can survive without having to ask money uh, from parents and anything. People rarely smile here. I mean, it's uh, it's like you have to pay them to smile. Uh, I am used to a situation where. Uh, you go on the bus, uh, everyone is smiling, chatting to each other and things like that. Here in Poland, the people are uh, more quiet, more shy. Uh, they should smile more and be more positive. And that is also another thing, the lack of initiative. I think uh, Polish people are uh, really intelligent and if they actually had more a more positive attitude, uh, I think this place would be much, much better. One strange situation I faced here in Poland is that uh, people didn't know uh, that Malta existed. And I was coming back from uh, Budapest uh, and in Modlin Airport, they uh, made a mistake and they sent us all through passport control. And while we were in passport control, they checked my ID card and they said it was fake. Uh, they checked my passport and they said it was fake as well. And they took them for some examination and I hear people asking what is Malta. And they were ch uh, checking about Malta on their computers because it seemed that they had never heard about it. The caretaker there who was cleaning the was cleaning in the uh, passport control area was telling them like, uh, it's a Schengen country, this person shouldn't be here. And the soldiers were like, no, 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 we don't know. <laughs> What has surprised me in Poland? Mostly it's the vast spaces. I come from a country uh, which is 20, 25 kilometers long, which you can uh, drive across the country in about one hour by car and walk around it in a day on foot, maybe. Uh, coming here and seeing uh, the huge distances and the plenty of space, for me, it was something amazing. Uh, I, what surprised me also was uh, nature here. Uh, in Malta, we don't have so much green areas. Uh, we seriously lack trees. Uh, over here, it was nice to see uh, that blended within the buildings, the, there are uh, park areas, there are trees, green areas. Uh, first time I was in Poland, I was like a Korean tourist shooting photos at every uh, trees because for me, it was something amazing. Actually, I didn't know much about Poland before I came here. Uh, the only times in Malta you would hear about Poland was when they were speaking about uh, Pope John Paul II. You would hear that he is from Poland. You would hear that he uh, helped bring down uh, communism. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I had heard once about Poland at school when they showed us a movie uh, to kill a priest, about a priest who was uh, killed during uh, socialist times. Uh, but that's it. Uh, the view of Poland in Malta is, you know, that it's still a poor country, very uh, communist style. Uh, my friends, when I told them that I am going to uh, study in Poland, they told me, uh, why are you going here? Why are you going there? Uh, you probably will find nothing to eat over there. Uh, there is nothing to do. Why not go to a better country? And But actually, when they came here, they found something totally different when they came here to visit me. And they actually liked it and they want to come back. Uh, unfortunately, 
in Malta, we rarely hear about uh, Eastern European countries. Uh, most of the news usually stops by uh, Germany and Italy. So I can't say I actually really knew much before. Basically, I know that some films were filmed in Malta, that uh, uh, such as The Gladiator, Count of Monte Cristo, uh, the upcoming World War Z. Uh, personal experiences, no, but uh, usually uh, it's Maltese people like, enjoy it very much when these films are being filmed. Uh, first of all, because they pay a lot. Uh, you can earn uh, from 50 to 100 euro just for being on the set as an extra. Uh, they get their chance to meet celebrities. Uh, you know, uh, it's not so common that these people come to Malta. So if they are filming, you know, everyone is trying to uh, find their friends, work in their hotels, so they can actually get them to meet these people. I actually have some friends who uh, actually would pay the doorman at the hotel just to let them meet these uh, actors, uh, just so they can post their picture on Facebook, you know, with the sector. Uh, I think it's quite funny. <laughs> I'm vegetarian, so uh, I cannot eat much of the food here, but I like pierogi very much. I uh, actually like to make my own variations at home. Uh, I like it very much, uh, the traditional po uh, Polish uh, salads. Uh, but eventually, uh, you know, uh, most of the uh, cuisine here is meat-based. It was actually uh, very strange for me, uh, even going to the supermarkets. Uh, it's uh, totally uh, different from my country here, uh, where you have a huge cheese counter in Malta and a little area just for meats. Here it's totally different. You have a small area for cheeses and a huge counter only uh, with meats. Uh, so for me, like, uh, I cannot appreciate it that much but the little I can eat, I very, very much like. During the Second World War, there was, uh, uh, Malta was being uh, uh, heavily bombed. Uh, it is uh, actually named as one of the, uh, heavy, the heaviest bombed uh, land in history. Uh, the Germans actually dropped five times as much uh, bombs on Malta as they did on London. Uh, uh, Polish were actually helping with the supplies, trying to uh, help Malta stay on its feet. Uh, I know that uh, one destroyer of the Polish uh, Navy was sunk during these operations. Actually, it's funny because I didn't tell my family I was going to Poland. Uh, a few of my friends knew, uh, but they got to know that I am in Poland. Uh, Three months after I was here, I just told them I'm going to study abroad. Uh, actually, they didn't know where I was going because I had a connection flight in uh, Germany. So all they saw was my ticket to Germany. Uh, when they got to know I was in Poland, actually, I started getting emails. Uh, are you dressing up properly? It's cold there. Uh, are you warming yourself up? My grandparents were calling me saying, oh, but make sure you eat. Uh, if you don't have food over there, we'll send you. They were actually scared that I wouldn't find any food in Poland. Uh, eventually, uh, I was always uh, telling them I wanted to go somewhere to Eastern Europe. So it wasn't such a big deal. Actually, my mother was here to visit some time ago. She actually saw that I was more fitting here in Poland than I was feeling at home in Malta. So I think, uh, they probably think it's a good idea that I actually came here. Postravjam wszystki internatów wirtualna Polska. Tyslijet lil users kolata wirtualna Polska.